Hello, it's the beginning of this is my Garden Warfare 3 wish list that you guys wanted and today I'll be talking about what characters, what what new game modes I would like to just basically overall what I would like to see in the next Plants vs Zombies game. So for new character variants, I would like to see an ice scientist called the Polarologist and a ch chargeable scientist called the nutritionist the charged smoothie shotgun and polar all just I mean an ice scientist could be very overpowered I mean in even maybe even be maybe even better than this one I mean that's it's hard to get better than the paleontologist but I'm not this is this is not me recording live but what I'm saying is that <laughs> The I the reason why I mean we don't have an ice superhero we don't have an we didn't have an ice chomper in the game and he can shoot it I mean an ice spray chomper could be very overpowered and I mean a lot saw choppers are kind of overpowered in some ways and for new chompers I would like I've seen art of a shark chomper that didn't make it to this game it's up to me I'd it'd pretty much be like the Chester chomper which ha is faster have 150 health and slow quickers I'd like to see a might sound weird a burping chomper which after he swallows someone he burps and does damage to any zombie around them i would also like to see um i don't know what this engineer would be called but he's pretty much like electro p petrified cactus and captain cannon he, you can explode the shots while they're in midair uh you know what we plays came up with the zpd zpd officer which can do which would be a foot soldier that is electric and I think it could also do in charge because you know I said we want the nutritionist and the ZPD officer because you know the only charge zombie we have right now is cosmic brains and he's really bad I like to see a toxic cactus and a toxic corn but the toxic corn would be called the expired corn because why not um, we could ha have a beach ball or Earl Citron called the Beach Peach, he can, sort of similar to the Sunflower's Queen, can kind of blind them. Thought about making it legendary, but I realized we already have two legendary Citrons, which brings me to the next stuff, my next characters. Which, uh, what two legendaries would I add? Um, don't worry, I'll get to the new classes later in the video, but we'd have a Elemental P, can sh use all four elements. No, he's not an avatar, he's, he's a pea shooter. Um, but I mean by that, I kind of think of how it would work and why it would be legendary. But what, how it would work, he could shoot like four ice, four fire, four electric, four toxic. Then when he gets to, to le his legendary meter, he could use all of them. And how it works, you know, say one character gets frozen and one next to uses electric to get them frozen and maybe burn and toxic. I mean, I don't know how burn and toxic would work. And for another piece of you hear me out. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I was thinking of of a boomerang pea shooter. Yes, a boomerang pea shooter. Don't worry, you could have one shot. I mean, you just. Well, I mean, I think about giving it to the cactus, but you know, cactus can't get to high places. It can't be that. I don't know how much damage we do. Maybe like 70. Because again, he can only have one shot, and it takes a while. Maybe even more. Maybe even a hundred. I'm might tempted to say a hundred. Uh. I don't really n know what I'll do for sunflowers. I mean, I I'm not even. Don't at me, but I don't think we have a splash sunflower. Maybe alien flower is, but she can't shoot rapidly, so the splash sunflower, since we have all these aquatic zombie characters like marine biologist, scuba soldier, captain shark bite, shrimp imp, but we need aquatic. aquatic plant the water flower basically is as rapid splash damage for sunflower i know we have introduced two new vampire characters the vampire couldn't help make a pun and the vampire cactus and i i know i was talking about the toxic cactus earlier but you know why we need toxic cactus we need a toxic sniper that's actually good cough cough captain squawk and for war imps, I would like I I have two ideas. We have the little we have the little Josh and Ice and cause little Drake's called fire. No, not. You, uh, that would be cool though. But an ice imp. Basically a Z Mex and Igloo. 
flew, and I don't know about his abilities, but he just shoots around. I, there's not much to say about him other than he's just an eye simp. Another one, we could have an armored, armored imp, maybe, because 185 health has a, some sort of castle. Maybe he could be like a knight. Sure, we'll call him the knight imp, and he'll have a castle be his mech. Maybe it has a cannon similar to the Scallywag mech. For all stars, we would have a toxic all star, which would be a basketball, which I wanted a basketball star since the first game, and we instead of having one that looks like a, a toxic all star, hockey star, that actually isn't. We have one that actually isn't. I, what does basketball have to do with poison? What does cricket have to do with fire? So, and then we'd have a legendary all star called the Bowling Star. His weapon would look like a one of those bowling racks ball turn out with with pins on the side which does splash damage but when he gets to legendary he shoots the balls which do a lot more damage and splash as well he would move faster and jump hot a little bit higher not like hyper high but just a decent amount of high I mean it can't be that overpowered we, all, we already have the tennis star and for new classes I don't have a whole lot of ideas for what they could be, but I know we got leaked mushroom class, which I'm looking for. Or two, we could probably be like an MPU. I'd also like if um, plants had a shotgun character, simp, not exact character scientist, but okay, maybe. I mean, it would be different, but we need a shotgun for the plants. I don't know what it could it, it could be. But back to the mushroom. I mean, he's another character that needs a poisonous variant because you know there are poisonous mushrooms. A height restriction could be a variant. And that's much I have to say for new zombie classes. Maybe I was thinking a chef, because why not? And for maps, I mean, I want them to bring back one map for each game. That would be Crash Course and Lunar Landing. My favorite one from the first one is at the Junction. But the reason why I chose Crash Course over because I feel like it's the, the shape, it could just be me, but the shape of it's a lot like Jewel Junction. No, it's not just me. And no, please don't, if anything, just don't bring back Pine Park. Um, what kind of new, new style map? I mean, we don't, we have, in neither game we've had really a, a map in the woods. It could, we could have it in Team Vanquish and Turf. And for new modes, I mean, we gotta bring back Taco Man. It's, I thought of something. Being like solo survivors, except we have all 12 in the same area, but it's just passed out of one. And I don't think we need Torch Wood or Hover Go in the next game. I think they were special and extra. If there's any other character we don't need to do that, it could probably be hard to party character. Just because I want you know some character special, so there's no reason to come back to the second one. Like there's Chester Chomper, Dr. Chester. After Harry Shearn said Travis to come back, so there's a reason to come back to play the first game. And out of Z7 Amp and Unicorn Chopper, Drive Chopper, I don't. I mean, I, I want Z7. I want them for sure. But let's see. I know we had Drifted Shores in the first game, but maybe we could also have a Island Turf Takeover map. And speaking of maps, I mean, this is a kind of different topic. I want there to be more things to be able to do in the backyard. We obviously have a different one, like with friends online or friends locally. I want to be able to say, I, since I said we want to bring back Crash Course, say I wanted to do something and guess my friend on Crash Course. I would, he, I, well, he could be a zombie, I could be a plant, like he said mode, like first one to this many vanquishes wins. The, or how be able to play or I mean I know you can like you know do the multiplayer portal or use a multiplayer portal have a private match but and for I want you and if we're going to choose AI I know you can choose like there's a firehouse but say you want like you know completely random like necros camo cactus paleodontaldus electro brains and regular citron etc more on I mean this argument good but maybe like more like South Polish than North or maybe like some with cabins I mean I, I've had stuff let's see maybe you know we have like 
Boney Island, where, you, I mean, you can go inside the volcano, but what if we had map, like, the whole thing was volcano? Or what if we had one that was, like, the whole thing was inside of some sort of building? We, I mean, uh, Top Town was a good one. I wanted, like, another, like, city-ish one. I mean, you got Zombopolis. Um, another multiplayer map maybe that could be, like, a cast. Or you could be inside a castle for the indoor one. A sand, how about a sand castle map? That's what I want. Um, back to the new classes, I'd like maybe a character that could crawl. I, that could be overpowered, just limited. Um, um, I, I like, you know, I like the maps in the first game better because they have more rooftops, such as, you know, chomp towns, stone paths, and stuff like that. I want, that's why I want more, like, city and neighborhood what, what maps. The backyard, should, I think, should be a lot bigger. There should be a lot more things to do. Like, more mini-games, maybe. More fight AIs, and maybe, you could, again, we could have a campaign, maybe a story this time. Like, a plot for the reason why we're fighting. We don't need to bring back boss. Like another single player mode like this with your friends, you could have like an army and try to get get help. Just go, you're, you're just trying to, your objective, it's sort of like chess, you're just trying to get, uh, get rid, rid of one guy, but getting rid of others in the uh, pro process, like you could get AIs helping you get rid of your friend or enemy. And maybe another thing we could do is, I, I want, honestly, Mistake. I want, I like, Snake Battlefront, you know how, like, in the first game you could fly in ships. I, I mean, I don't mean, like, we like an every mode, but maybe some turf mode you could, you could have some, I know we have the drones, you could have some, like, aerial battle. Like, you know how there's that corn plane, we could have that in one map. Or in the first game there's, the uh, flower shots. Or, I guess that's something we could have boss mode be. It may, we could have a me mode just exclusive to that, I don't know if we can, like, a blimp and a flying RV fighting each other in mid-air while there's all these plants and zombies going on the ground. I mean, that should be a mode. Uh, another idea for a mode is, you know how in the end of Moon Bay Sea there's those balls? I want a mode just like that. Exclusive to that stuff. And that's kind of... That's, I don't... Well, uh, maybe what the zombies could have instead of the... How we... Plants have the corn plane, they could have a UFO, something, I, again, I want Taco Pandits be tournament again, because they didn't really add many modes in the second one other than Herbal Assault, uh, or maybe Gargle Bargle, that could be a mode, no, but uh, in all seriousness, that's pretty much all I have to say, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.